Hey, hey, you're with Easy Jeezy. Look at that. I even got a Volkswagen t-shirt on today instead of a Harley shirt. <laughs> it's hot. This shouldn't be that dirty of a job. I wanted to make this video today on these flywheels. A stock flywheel has four dowels that hold it in place, and the gland nut is what attaches it to your crankshaft. This is a stroker engine. It has eight dowels on it, and they put extra dowels in the flywheels to show you it's just stronger. Now this one's been lightened and it's a clasp flywheel. It's a little duller in color. This one's kind of old and rusty. And this one, I had it on my 1776. I did this without a jig. 20 some years ago ran it for years and years and years on that I really had to jam it on that crankshaft and I thought maybe I could get by with it on this one but it just didn't want to go so rather than force it I'm gonna take a stock flywheel and I had at some point in time ordered this uh, jig for making those extra dowels and we're going to get the directions out and we're going to get it over to the drill press and set it up and check that out. Um, one of the ways you can tell if you have a cast crank is obviously that no matter what you do it continues to leak and it's a little duller in color and you can tell that when you hit it with a strike it with a hammer or something hard it uh, just goes thunk. If you take a flywheel, a Volkswagen flywheel you can hear the difference. Here's a completely stock one. So, <laughs> big difference. Yep, it's a buzz killer. <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, take that letter O. It came with a, a letter N drill and an O drill. When you do the crankshaft, you start with the N and, and uh, go in slightly with the O. On the flywheel, you just need to use the O. I've taken my table. This is, like I said, a cheap Harbor Freight drill press. And what I'm doing is just checking it by whatever means you got. Here's a block that I got at a garage sale. Actually, I, when I had my plumbing and heating company, I had this old tool and die maker that worked for me. He was 73 years old. That guy would get on his hands and knees on the concrete and, and nothing bothered him. Anyhow, dumb stories. I got a million of them. Okay, so we've just got a block. You can use anything. You could use a carpenter square, whatever. But you want to make sure that your hole is going to be straight and you don't want to be chewing up your, your jig or your... You want it to fit when you're done. Okay. Looks like my flywheel just just fits on that surface just right and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of oil and I'm going to put it on my drill bit I'm going to put some in the hole now you can see you don't have all eight holes here one of them is offset you use two of your best holes you drop uh, the extended dowel pins that they give you in the kit and you screw this and it centers this thing is sweet and then uh, I'm sure some guy's going to tell me that he did it with a hand drill and I'm sure that it's been done before that way uh, but if I've got the tools you know why not use it okay now they taught us a lot of this stuff when I was in high school uh, back in the 60s they had auto shop metal shop wood shop um, drafting, all these kinds of things, and and they taught you stuff, and they started you off with easy stuff. I can feel that thing jiggling. Now, I, they taught us clear back then that your speed is relative to the job that you're performing to cut. And basically what this jig is doing is getting your hole started. The second thing I want to comment on is that you can't make a, a round hole with a twist drill. Now there's a space underneath there 
to collect those shavings and we're just going to go on around and drill through our flywheel and see what we end up with. Last one. Again, just for giggles. Yep. Okay, now we're going to take it apart and we're going to run a chamfering tool. Hope this is, fits inside there uh, just to make the bottom flat. Here's what it looks like from the other side. You got your fixture on the far side. It comes with all this stuff. It comes with the bolt. It comes with the centering washer. And then you've also got the uh, part for doing the crankshaft if you need to. My problem was just the opposite. The crankshaft was already done and it's very, di very difficult to get those uh, pins out. So, there you go. Presto changeo. And then it comes with these extra long dowel pins to center it even further. Man, this thing is this thing is nice tool, and we'll keep it for other jobs. I'm going to deburr it, and then we'll see if it fits on the crankshaft. All right, our test fit uh, came out really good. Your uh, dowel's in there. I did a trial mock-up here. I, uh, if it just flops on there, that's not good. It, you're going to have to press it in there. And uh, yeah, this one tank came out good. So now we'll uh, clean it up and save myself some money. Uh, hopefully uh, with the new seal, that will take care of an oil leak for a while. When you're out in the sand dunes, or sand gets into everything and it is kind of hard on that particular seal uh the old clutch it wasn't that grabby even though i don't prefer it it seemed okay and it might even uh be smoother yet with uh the stock flywheel on it and i don't know if i mentioned it or not but uh the only reason why guys go with these light and flywheels is because these aftermarket cranks usually are counterweighted. So basically you're just moving the weight from the end of the crankshaft and you're spreading it out through the full length of the crankshaft. Um, and it, it makes for a smoother uh, setup. It's easier to balance. It costs more to do and that's why the factory didn't do it. In addition, these motors were only capable of hitting like 4,000 RPM when you're driving it. If you uh, accidentally downshift and get it in gear, you can get more revs out of it. And there's probably been more than one motor destroyed that way, especially in a bus. So uh, we're going to clean this thing up and uh, put our clutch pressure plate on and throw it back on the car. And I didn't make you look at a Harley shirt the whole movie. Look at that, see? I'll put my Volkswagen shirt on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy jeezy.